Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to share with you some easy, quick, convenient meals that worked for us during one of the busiest weeks of our year. So if you guys didn't already know, because if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know, for the past 10 months, my husband and I's grocery budget has been $35 a week. We have kept it really, really tight. We've shared all of that here on YouTube about how we paid down over $35,000 in debt in six months. After that six months, we kept our grocery budget super, super tight to put money aside to furnish our new home. We went through debt payoff and first time home buying and it's been super exciting, but we've still kept our grocery budget really, really low even though we haven't needed to. It's just kind of what we've been doing. Plus, when we keep it really low, we're also able to donate food to our food pantry, so it's like a win-win altogether. But this week, the week leading up to 4th of July, is always a crazy, busy week for us. It's probably the craziest week of the year always for us because my husband's birthday falls the week before 4th of July, and then our wedding anniversary is actually July 3rd. And then we have all the festivities of July 4th, and this year we actually had company over, so it was just like back to back to back things. Plus on top of that, we were still working, we didn't ask for time off, so we were going through our normal routine, plus we were having all these festivities and celebrations. And so when Green Chef reached out to me and asked to send me a box, and to partner with me for a video, I could not have been happier that it landed on this particular week. And here I'm gonna share with you some amazing meals that Green Chef sent for us, plus other quick, easy, convenient meals that work during this really, really busy week. Just to let you guys know, I did not go to the grocery store this week. I relied solely on Green Chef and items that I had around my house. So you will probably find that you have all of these items in your pantry, fridge, and freezer. You can mimic all of the meals that I'm going to share with you today. Plus the bonus of it is, is all of them come together in about 20 minutes or less. So you're going to really appreciate these quick, convenient meals like I did on a very busy week. But I thought this would be a fun video to share with you just because I didn't meal plan. And if you've been around my channel for a while, I take a lot of time each week to meal plan, to strategize, to get groceries within that $35 budget. So this is just a very different video for us. We did not go out to eat except for on our wedding anniversary, which again is very different. Normally during this time of week, we just kind of like throw it all away. And we're like, oh, it's celebration time. Like we have people coming over. We have our wedding anniversary. We have my husband's birthday. Like let's just celebrate and eat out and get takeout all week. But this week we didn't. We did things very differently and I'm excited to share with you what I made. So let's jump into the first recipe. This recipe here is becoming one of my favorite go-to summer recipes for either before a run, after a run, if it's just me cooking for myself at night and not my husband. This recipe is uh, one that just I ate because he worked late and I didn't need to make him dinner So it's just a single serving, but you could double it triple it whatever So I do one cup of rice to one cup of water in my pressure cooker I always cook my rice with one to one and then I just put on the rice button It's perfect every time and then some tofu with cornstarch. I'm gonna throw it in the air fryer I don't press my tofu. I just always get extra firm I don't even like let it like towel it off or anything. It's perfect just as it is. So fix it however you would like it, but I just roughly chop it into some chunks and then I sprinkled a little bit of cornstarch, about three teaspoons, or I think it was half teaspoon, so about a teaspoon and a half, I guess, um, of cornstarch over it and then threw it in my air fryer and it was perfect in eight minutes. Literally, this is like 12 minute meal, good to go. And then I really like to dip it in my orange sauce with rice and don't cringe when you come to the end and you see my plate. I meant to make roasted cauliflower also in my air fryer because I have a three tier air fryer which I will link down below if you want to check it out because I get a lot of questions about it but I kind of forgot. I sat down to do some editing and when the like timer went off I decided you know what I don't think I want to put any cauliflower in so I didn't have a vegetable this meal but that's okay i do eat veggies most of my meals but this is really good it's just a really quick summer convenient meal and i feel like most of us have tofu some kind of sauce barbecue orange sauce heck even ketchup i don't know whatever you like to enjoy your tofu with and then some rice it's just such a good meal Huge, huge. 
huge shout out to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I was so excited when they asked to partner with me for a video and especially like I said, what a blessing that we got this on the week of our anniversary. It just felt like the biggest gift. And for people that are, you know, really strict through their grocery budget, this was just amazing and I was so excited to try it. So it did come with three different recipes. The awesome thing about Green Chef is it's a US DA certified organic company with a variety of dishes for all types of lifestyles, including vegan, hello, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. The nice thing is, is the recipes are so quick and easy in their step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and photos to help guide you, and everything is hand-picked and delivered right to your door. If you are someone who is new to plant-based, I highly recommend snagging yourself some Green Chef meals because you will be able to try them and get inspired by new recipes and kind of solidify the plant-based lifestyle. But also if you're someone who's been around the plant-based community for a while and you just wanna try something new, I also recommend them because they actually gave me a ton of really good ideas. You can go to greenchef.us slash runningonplants100 and use code runningonplants100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. The link will be down in the description box below, so make sure you check it out. Like I said, go to greenchef.us slash runningonplants100. Use code runningonplants100 to get $100 off, plus free shipping on your first box. I can't wait to hear from you all when you guys order from Green Chef, so tag me on Instagram and let me know the meals that you received. As I told you in my intro, I did not shop this week. So we're running on bare bones. I'm gonna give you some more meal inspiration and tell you some more things that we made this week. We did have a small pizza bar on 4th of July for the people that we had over. But for this meal, I used a box of pasta. I had a red lentil pasta on hand that I actually got free in a grocery haul. I think I showed you guys that a couple weeks ago. I'm using some tahini, lemon juice, zucchini, and peppers. Once the pasta was about done, I added the zucchini and the peppers. I know that seems a little bit strange maybe, but I just kind of wanted to steam it a little bit in the water, so I added it for like a minute or two. Then I added the lemon juice and I added some onion powder and then a couple heaping tablespoons of tahini. So this was kind of like a mock um, hummus pasta. It was really, really good. The, the sauce was like super creamy. I did leave about a quarter cup of the starchy pasta water in the pot as well. So you'll see that when I stir it up really quickly, but it was just so good. It was so good and this had leftovers. I mean, it's just my husband and I, so I had a little bit of leftovers. I didn't show you any of the lunch meals, but I will show you a brunch meal that we had. It was delicious. Pasta and rice is a huge go-to for us, if you cannot tell already by, you know, what we eat in all of our videos. But also, I like to make my own homemade pasta sauce. So I use a can of diced tomatoes, some seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and nutritional yeast and put that into this little mini blender right here and because it's a mini blender i do have to do it in two portions sadly i'm almost out of nutritional yeast so i just barely enough for this recipe but i would like to call this a pizza pasta this is a huge go-to for my husband and i because a lot of times i have basically all these ingredients on hand it's just things that i always buy in my grocery haul so that that way it's kind of like a a recipe I can just throw together really quick without really doing any planning but um, I just make sauce and then I throw whatever kind of pizza toppings if you will into the pasta this day I did black olives and mushrooms and it was so delicious and then I also had some leftover cheese from our 4th of July party that we had like I said we did a pizza bar we used non bread um, not the pizza nons but like the non other nons I don't know I had never gotten them before I don't think at the store and then I just did a whole bunch of different toppings for pizzas and people could make their own pizzas and then I threw them in the air fryer for like four or five minutes and there was just individual pizzas it was so good but I made this sauce for it so if you ever need a pizza sauce save this you can put any seasonings you want in it honestly it's just like so cheap and easy it's amazing it costs like 50 cents plus like two cents worth of seasoning. It's great. You know I'm always thinking budget and convenience and the easiest route in 10, 15 minute meals. So like I said, this was just a really delicious recipe. This was actually July 5th where this one came in to play. 
I had the day off and so did my husband, so it was really nice to actually kind of just have a day to decompress, but also have a really easy recipe that I could throw together and it was just amazing. I realize that a lot of these recipes are out of order from the days that we had them, but you guys don't know that. This was actually my favorite meal from Green Chef. It inspired me so much. It was a couscous salad, and I wanted to quickly tell you guys that I don't cook with oil, and it is recommended on you know the recipe cards that you get from Green Chef to cook with oil, but I don't cook with oil and I just didn't add any. I just continued to saute things with water. Um, here I'm roasting some vegetables and I just didn't even spray my pan. I just kind of stirred it around a few times. You could use a little bit of cooking spray if you wanted to, but this meal alone inspired me so much and just had my wheels ticking. There was dates and couscous and roasted veggies and radishes, and I didn't even make the dressing that went with it because it did call for oil. I don't have any oil in my house, like I just don't cook with it, so if an item has oil with it, then I'll use it, but this didn't, but I just did a fresh lemon and it was so delicious. So for brunch on July 4th, I decided to go ahead and whip up like a tofu scramble and hash, and it was so good. My husband also really liked it, and my husband's not plant-based. We joke that he's a flexitarian. Um, he will eat plant-based at home. He will eat anything that I make. He loves what I cook. He's not picky, thank goodness, but I just thought this was so good, and it was really fun to share with you guys some brunch ideas. That is veggie broth right there. I had like a condensed, little packet of like a condensed veggie broth. I'm not even sure where I got it, but I added that in with my hash, and it was just delicious. I'll show you the seasonings that um, I put with it really quick, but just basically some potatoes, onion, veggie broth, tomatoes, and then we had strawberries on the side. Like I already mentioned, I don't cook with any oil, so I have a really good non-stick pan. I can link it down below, and if I forget, remind me if you want to look at it. But I just cook everything in water. I heat my skillet up for a couple minutes, get it really nice and hot, and then I cook everything in water. You'll see here in the next clip, I basically sauteed these in a bunch of water to make them really fast, and to make them really fast, and to cook them like fast, like to make them really soft fast is what I'm trying to say. But then I added the veggie broth, I put a lid over it, I think I forgot to show you that. And then for the tofu, I don't even like wash out my pan in between, I just add a little bit more water, as you can see it's not very much. And then I smash up my tofu and add a bunch of seasonings to it. And this was just such a good brunch, like there's nothing better than sleeping in on the weekend and knowing that you just had a really festive holiday and then having some really good brunch. So I did add turmeric, onion powder, and garlic salt. Yes, those are my go-tos with everything. And then I just mash it up in the pan, let it heat up. I don't get it crispy or anything, I just heat it up. And then I served it with the potatoes and some of the tomatoes and some strawberries on the side. I really love tomatoes with breakfast. And the potatoes were so good, especially with the veggie broth. They had almost like a gravy-like flavor. Oh, so good. Delicious, you can see it's his and her plates. His is just a little bit bigger because he's a bigger human than I am, but this was just a delicious brunch. I quickly just wanna say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you got some really good meal ideas. If not, you were inspired, you were entertained, and you saw what I made on a very, very busy week for us. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye-bye.